guys today we are going to talk about the composition of saliva well saliva is the liquid that is produced from this salivary gland present in our mouth and saliva mainly consists of water about 99 percent it is made of water while one percent it is made of organic and inorganic substance so so the inorganic substance are the main electrolytes are sodium potassium calcium chloride bicarbonates other electrolytes are also present such as magnesium sulfate fluoride theocyanide the saliva also has organic components it has a lot of organic components such as enzymes so in enzymes we have amylase this is the enzyme that helps in breakdown of carbohydrate starch into smaller unit and help in digestion of food this is the first step of digestion of food it occur in the mouth and not in the stomach and we have lingual lipase this is the enzyme that helps to break down the fat into smaller units and also ribonuclease it is the enzyme that helps in degradation of rna into smaller components and the next one is the sterase enzyme this is the hydrolyte hydrolase enzyme that helps to break into amino acids and alcohol in presence of water and also we have lysozymes this is the antimicrobial agent it works by breaking the outer cell of the bacteria so the lysozyme attached to these bacteria and kill the bacteria this lysozyme is also secreted by tears and also they are present in the mammary glands and we also have secretory immunoglobulins in the organic components which are IgG so IgG this is the main antibody found in the body that helps to control the infection it binds to many pathogens like bacteria virus fungus and protect from infection and also there is another antibody called IgM this is the antibody that act as the first line of defense and also provide provide immunity the organic components of the saliva also has the antibacterial agents which are the lysozyme so this is again the enzyme that helps to break the bacterial cell wall and kills the bacteria it also has lactoperoxidase so this is the substance that oxidizes the theocyanate ion in presence of hydrogen peroxide and it forms a product and and this product kills the bacteria it also has lactoferrins and uh, calprotein they have the antimicrobial agents properties and it also has bone abnormal gland pr protein so which is also known as BEGP so this protein enhance the antimicrobial activities of lysozyme and it also has SLPI which is secretory leukocyte proteinase inhibitor so this has the antibacterial antiviral and antifungal effect the organic components also has antiviral agents such as cystatins and mucins the cystatins it has antiviral effect also it also has the antibacterial effect while the mucin it they protect the cell by forming gel like structure and prevent from viral growth it also has antifungal agents such as histatins and chromogranins a so the histatins they provide first line of defense against oral candy oral candidiasis which is caused by the candida albicans so it protects from fungal growth it also has chromogranin a which provide fungal antifungal properties so these were the organic components of the saliva and also the total volume of saliva is approximate about 750 ml to 1000 ml daily and the submandibular gland account about 60 percent of total saliva while the sublingual gland account about 30 percent of total saliva and it also has minor salivary gland which accounts about one percent of total saliva and the ph of saliva is 6.4 to 7.4